whatever you do, please, please, please don't keep your head still. Right, so every golfer gets told it, don't they? They've hit a bad shot and one of their playing partners says, you lifted your head, you moved your head and that's why you hit a bad shot. Well, what if that was one of the biggest myths in golf? And what if that actual thing of you trying to hit your head still and down is causing all your bad shots? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you why that's the case and why allowing your head to move a bit more freely will free up your swing and unlock distance and accuracy like never before. Right then, so you will have all done this where you stand up, whether it's on the tee like it is now or even more noticeable when the ball's on the floor, but you stand up there, cold top that shot, and the first bit of feedback you get is that you lifted your head or your head moved and you think, you know, I really, really felt like I kept my head as still as I could in that golf swing, but ultimately it's just not a good result. So on the next one, you stand up there and you think, right, I must have moved my head a little bit on that one. So I'll really, really concentrate on staying still. And on your next one, you stand there. It's a better strike. So 84 mile an hour. 143 yard carry and 190 total. But probably the biggest myth in golf about keeping your head still or down. Now, what we need to do in the golf swing is get that club head moving a nice big distance around the swing, connecting with the golf ball, moving at a good speed and pointing in the right position. So my big challenge is if you were to stand and just swing the club quite freely, but pay attention to what my hat does. You will see how my hat moves. And the challenge is, if you want the club head to move to the top of the swing, you need to let your body turn. But the problem is, your head is on your neck, which is connected to your body. And as your body turns, obviously there'll be an element of movement with the neck and the head. So I'm not talking about lifting up and down, but there's gonna be an element of movement. And then as we start our downswing, we see with all the top players in the world, there's actually a very slight downward movement, and then they kind of come back up to impact. But you'll also notice how the head kind of rotates a little bit on the way through and goes. Now, what I'm gonna ask you to do will feel very, very different. And particularly if you hit a poor shot, your friends will be all over this but I want you to have a few swings of not worrying at all what your head does. Now I know, because I've seen it enough times, and plenty of people highlight it to me during my videos, that when I swing back, this is a little bit of rotation that way, but my head rotates that way through impact. Now what that allows me to do is as my head rotates, it allows, as my hips rotate and my chest opens up, it allows everything to open up and give me a bit more control on the club face. Now, if you've watched my videos, you might say, not enough control, but if I try and keep my head very still and down, everything stops, the hands cross over, and I just smother everything straight left. So allow yourself just to let your head move. Don't keep it still, don't keep it down. Just swing back and through. And if you can do a few swings, like that, you'd be amazed how much more free the golf swing feels. And then, particularly if you're practicing, this is a great opportunity, is to actually stand there and then just hit a couple of shots. You know, don't worry at all what your head's doing. Nice big swing. And for any of you guys who keep your head still, that will be a completely different golf shot. We're talking about a good strike, some decent speed, some good carry and some great total. Now, what I want you to understand though is when you watch the best players in the world, you'll notice their heads move the same. And even some of the best players, Justin Rose was very noticeable last year working on this. Justin Johnson's a little bit the same. As they come down in practice, they're actually trying to let almost their 
trail ear get down more to the ball because it allows the body to rotate better and get through that shot. So the problem is as well, when you're keeping your head very, very still, if I keep my head perfectly still, I'm very limited how far back I can get. So straight away, that's an issue. I definitely can't create any real speed from there. As I swing down into impact, my arms start to buckle, which brings the club closer to me. So that's a massive issue on contact. And then obviously on the way through, very, very short. Now I don't think you see too many of the best players in the world hitting driver like this. But you do see a lot of higher handicappers doing that. So if you're somebody who mishits the ball, start understanding exactly what's going on as to where that club's coming back. You know, it could be that your body's doing something to cause the club to come back in the wrong place. But try and get to the root of the problem. Don't just be lazy and say, my head moved, I lifted my head. Get up there and think, right, I'm going to swing very, very freely. I'm not going to worry what my head does or doesn't do. You know, as long as it stays on top of your shoulders, I think you'll be safe. And if it doesn't, you're not worrying about your golf. So from there, and I know mine goes early. I'm not saying yours should move as early as mine, but there's been some very, very good golfers, much better golfers than me, whose heads move as early as mine, if not actually earlier. But we're going to get up there. We're going to let that head just do what it needs to do. And let's see if we can make another big swing. So not the best strike, a little bit low on the club face, but it's in play. And I love the feedback when people comment and say, you're not swinging properly, you're lifting your head, you're moving your head. Do you know what? I'm pretty decent at getting the club head back where I need to be. And it's definitely a very unrestricted golf swing, my movement. And I just think most golfers, when they hit a bad shot and they get told things about the head, they've not actually done that. And they're actually trying incredibly hard to keep it still or down. And just don't, just stand up there, let it swing. Like I said, I know mine moves really, really early, but get there. Put that good swing on it. And if you can get the ball out there a bit more often like that, you're gonna enjoy your golf a whole lot more. Right guys, so like I said, don't keep the head down, don't keep it still. I'm not saying deliberately try and move it around, but if the head needs to move a little bit to allow that freedom of movement, let it happen. And if you hit bad shots, try and deal with the fact of actually what's caused it, not what just all your best friends who still top the ball are telling you. So guys, hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, like it and share it, comment below and I'll get back to as many people as I can. If you have enjoyed today's content and you don't currently subscribe, please consider clicking the button below, ring the notification bell, then you'll find out whenever I drop a new video. Follow me on all my social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.